Welcome to a new artwork of mine, which I think I am going to call Pilgrimage to Maru. And it's all about envisioning the landscape surrounding a potential Mount Maru and what Mar Mount Maru may look like up there. And if it did, would it be kind of like a, uh, you know, I've envisioned it to be like a place, almost like a land with a city, a little bit of a town, different uh, landscapes around, some a little more ancient than others, some animals, some giants, some normal sized or other power sized people, some people with magic, some cathedral like places, some plants, some trees that are small, some trees that are massive. So, um, tried to envision a bunch of different things here and uh, incorporate it all into one vast landscape. Purely unique, not based on anything else. And there's a guy back there with a griffin, a Tartarian griffin, hanging out. And this person down here in the corner, this healer or uh, sage shaman person conversing with the uh, tiger or the other way around. Who knows? Everyone's conversing. Riding horses, hanging around, there's paths. They kept it pretty pure because I would assume that the land around Mount Maru would be kind of like a historical site. I almost envisioned it like a uh, historical or state national park kind of land where there's different things. There's little fountains that you can kind of tap into. There's little fires, ether fires burning with, um, since the Maru itself is kind of like a giant gold structure I envision kind of heat being underneath and uh, coming out through vents. The animals, they're loving for animals, their total harmony, union, and just fusion of life existing between them, flowers, insects, all existing in a harmonious way. I like to envision that, all different kinds of colored clothing, just different. <laughs> I'm not very uh, fashionable myself, so I don't really get too fashionable with things, it's more just color symbols relating to uh, their zones, their mood. And there's different people kind of all over the place, hills in the background, good steeples, good ether, generating and capturing devices, a harbor, because there's got to be a lot of water-induced um, living, birds, people flying on birds, people riding on the backs of uh, whales, dolphins, things in the distance, planets, some kind of, really just a sun and a moon, rainbows connecting. Different buildings in the distances, whether that could be seen in reality or not, who knows. A little strand of power just emanating from the center of Maru with water flowing in and out of it. Different, four different ways, I kind of tried to get four different ways of water. The one in the back you can't really see, but four waters surrounding it. You can go inside, swim inside the Maru capsule, which would be giant. Those people would be giant and are exaggerated. Maru would be huge. I just wanted to not make the entire drawing about Mount Maru. But then more ether, electricity connections, aurora stemming from that crystal y palace -y kind of uh, ain't more ancient one, and who knows? And so I pictured, really pictured it like, you know, if I was going to visit it, what it would be uh, cool to see it like, you know, hanging out. I would love to spend a vacation up at Maru and experience just a positive experience, energy that I couldn't even fathom, a glare. What would the sun look like reflecting on whatever Mount Maru is if it were a giant gold, not necessarily pyramid, but just like thing protruding from the earth, um, just a massive monolith structure that's ancient and formed by the magic of the earth or through the process of uh, philosopher's stone or alchemy or something that just the earth generates itself. Who knows? It's all just kind of fun, random exploration, a snapshot of Maru, the pilgrimage to Maru. I wish we could do that one day. Hopefully we can. Maybe someday we will discover in our time, our generation will discover this truth and we can go exploring. People will put their time looking at how to get to other parts of the realm, how to communicate with them, open up our entire mind to something great. and. That's the thing that stinks about modern time now is that there's just so much work. Like the people in power in America now that have seized power just clearly don't have the humans or anyone's like best interest in mind, and it's it's really sickening. 
because all the people with power, all the people with a voice, like, aren't using it for good at all. They're using it for bad. And what if, you know, imagine places where they did use it for good. The people in power used it for good. Everyone had everyone's best interest in mind. The golden rule and others were followed or just inherited. And that's just the way it was because it felt good. It led to the best outcome for everyone. And everyone was allowed to be free and perfect. What's, uh, it seems like we should do that. It seems like if we were in power, truly, as a species, we would want that. And the people in power that don't want that should be uh, voted out immediately. And I think we've been able to see that now. But Maru, places like this, places beyond our little enclosure, are spark the imagination in a way that's just unparalleled. Because I hope we get to experience it. I have a deep feeling, I think we all do, that it exists out there and we're just kind of trapped, forbidden to go beyond our little plot here. But I hope we can in the future and I will continue to envision what I think it might look like so that we can all kind of toss ideas around and hopefully one day get the motivation to make it happen. See what's up there. Someday. Bless you all. Thank you.